Hi, and we're back with part four of Blender uh, modeling a monkey tutorial, and we're using Blender 2.5. Now we've just gone through a simple modeling process with the monkey at this stage. Um, we're going to look at from now on. We're going to get the camera position correct. We're going to apply some lighting, and we're going to start um, doing some renders of the monkey. Okay, so first thing that we need to do, once we start to move into this mode, is to, um, we need to change our window setup a little bit so we can see what the camera is doing as well. Okay, so I'm going to drag a second window across here. You can see I just grabbed it from this top corner and dragged it back through, and you can see now that I've got two windows. So these windows are fairly independent of each other, although they sh show the same scene. So the way that I like to think of these is that they're a bit like security cameras in a store, in that they're both they're all showing the same scene, but they're looking from different angles. Okay, so these are basically our two monkey shots. What I'm going to do in the right hand one is I like to set up a camera view. Okay, so this is what the camera is seeing at the moment and we can see that what the camera is actually going to render is basically what's inside of the frame here, so the light part here. So if I go up here and go render image, we'll do a quick render won't take a second, the computer just has to do some calculations there. Okay, so we can see that the camera at the moment can just see the feet of the monkey. So let's go back to previous. To have a look in this left hand window, and we can see here there's this triangular shaped object, so I can right click to select it, okay, and move around, and I can see this is actually my camera, and as I start to move my camera by its handles, we can see that what the camera can see moves. So it's just similar to moving a camera in the real world. I'm going to pull it out a little bit. So they're looking at the mon monkey from a bit of an angle. That's fine. And the other thing that I can also do is I can rotate the camera. So I click down here on the rotators, rotate manipulator mode, and that gives me some handles. Now these handles are linked to the global scene, but if you want to make the handles rotate with the camera, just as the controls would in the real world when we rotate a camera, the controls move with it. I'm just going to, yep, rotate this camera a little bit, get our monkey a little bit more in frame, that's good. And then staying on this local command down the bottom, I can grab my, now I can grab my movers and I can move things out a little bit so I'll move the camera out rolling out a little bit more pulling it out by the blue arrow until we can see on the right there that the monkey is starting to sit in full frame okay so let's do another render and see what we've got okay Good, we've got the monkey rendered now, but we can see that there's some problems here with the lighting of the subject. So it's dark on the head and he's lit up down here on his legs. And the reason for that is, let's just go back to the previous, we can see that we've got a light down here. Okay, so we want to move this light up and above our monkey so that the light is coming down from a little bit more natural direction. Okay, so I'm going to change this back to global. I'm going to move the light source up above the monkey's head. Looking from above, I'm just going to pull it away a little bit as well. Okay, that's good. So let's do a quick render now and see how we're looking. Okay, not too bad. We can see that we've moved the light away, so it's a little less intense, but it's also coming from a better direction. So let's just click it back, go back to previous again. Okay, starting to get happy with the way that that's working. Now up along here, once you've got the light selected, you'll see here that we can move across and there's this one here which sh shows us our, at the moment it's just labelled as object data and it tells us what type of light we're using. So at the moment we're using a spot. I might change that to a sun. It's a little bit easier to, to handle the sun. Okay, and we're just going to have a look down here and everything's looking pretty okay. We've got ray shadow turned on which gives us a bit of smoothness. I might turn the samples up a little bit to say 4. Let's do a render now and see how it's looking. Okay, 
that's better. So we can start to see now that we've got a little bit more sort of realistic looking lighting of our object. Um, we've got nice and bright on top here. We've got quite dark shadows, but we'll tune those up in a little while. So next thing we're going to do to our model, I'm going to return to previous, is I'm just going to add some land for him to stand on. And in the case of this, I'm just going to add in Shift A. I'm going to add in a plane is just one of the most basic objects you can add. It's just a square. It's got no real thickness to it. I'm going to drag away that plane nice and big like that. Okay, so we can see it's intersecting the monkey, but we'll push it down to the bottom here. Okay, and we'll just set the height round about at his legs. I'm being a little bit rough the way I do it, but it's not too bad. I might scale it up a little bit bigger. So we can see what the camera sees there in this one. Okay, that looks okay. So let's do a little bit of a render now, just to see how things are looking. And we should have... Okay, yep, our scene's starting to work. So we've got a grey monkey on a grey ground with a grey sky, but that's okay, that's our first go at it. So I'm just going to return back to this now. Now, as always in Blender, save your work as you go along. So I'm just going to hit save now. It's all good. I can relax now that I know it's saved. Okay, so that's our basic lighting setup um, and our basic camera setup at this point in time. So what I'm going to do now is um, we'll move on to the next video, which will deal a little bit more with making materials and um, just hiding the scene up. Okay.